So I'm going to start covering some of the packages that you can get with the Sherline, um, just so you know the, the type of accessories that they can come with. One of the biggest advantages um, I like about the, the Sherline is that when you get these packages, you get almost everything you need to start, and you're guaranteed that the different pieces and parts are going to fit together and work together uh, very well. When I purchased my very first mill and my very first lathe, um, I made a lot of purchasing mistakes by buying products that really weren't um, the correct size and, and the correct fit for my uh, for my larger lathe and mill. So this is kind of nice to be able to get everything at once without having to worry about it. To start, there's really only one package, so you get. Uh, either just the mill or you get all of this. Um, one thing to note is these stepper motors are are purchased separate. They don't come with the mill. Um, and I believe what comes out of the box with the mill, just with the way it's shipped, is a small Jacobs chuck with a, a arbor adapter on it. And then Obviously the, the key to go with that and a draw bar to hold it into the head of the lathe. Now that's this comes as uh, part number 3072 if you order it separately. Um, I'm not positive if it comes with the lathe by default or sorry with the mill by default uh, but it, it seemed to be part of the standard package of just the bare mill. After that, we start looking at their A package, and, and there's only an A package on the mill. So this is the part number 3013. It's the step block hold down set. For securing things just to the, the table of the mill, um, this is really a standard that's used on, on almost every mill out there. The big differences are the, the size of the T-slot and the size of the screw threads that are used to, to hold it all together. But these guys slide in to the bed of the mill like so and then you choose a, a threaded bar that matches the height of what you're going to work on And then we're just going to clamp one of the blocks down here though, as though this was the piece we were going to be working on. You just set it up that way and then top it off with um, a nut. And they actually give um, some dished washers here along with a, a dished nut to go on there. So the reason you want to pick the, the right height is so you don't have to be doing a lot of threading. Um, but that's a, a fairly basic hold down set. One comes standard in this package. Uh, depending on what you're doing, it would be useful to have a second one. So the next accessory is just simply a 532nd T-driver uh, with a hex head. Just a little bit more uh, convenient and easy to use compared to the traditional L-shaped keys. And then these three are our next part number that's included in the A-set. Uh, this is the 3021 uh, three-piece center drill set with I believe a 60 degree tip on these. Um, center drills are, are very very common in both lathe work as well as mill work. The biggest advantage of these over uh, for, for lathe work is more accurate centering um, when drilling holes. You use these to start the holes uh, because a, a longer bit can wander when it contacts the surface. These shorter bits are going to be stiffer so you'll use them to, to just barely start the hole and then you can go from there. So this is a 3052. Uh, this is a carbide, a brazed carbide fly cutter set. Uh, the advantage that you get here is this is good for surfacing larger pieces is that it it has quite a wide swing and 
as you're you're trying to smooth out the top of a piece or a very very long edge this will work a lot faster and a lot easier than an end mill which we'll look at next it actually uses a lathe tool um, in the holder the biggest difference here is that this uh, lathe tool in this case is um, a brazed carbide so it's going to last a lot longer than the normal high-speed steel and then the set comes with a, a draw bar to hold it into the spindle of the mill. And this item is 3060. It's a three-piece mill collet set with um, a draw bolt again. Collets are going to be one of your most accurate ways of, of holding apart because they're sized specifically to hold um, a, a, a one diameter. Um, with them being circular they're going to match up with the mill uh, mill spindle directly. They're going to have very very little run out and this is really going to be your best option. The drawback to them is limited sizes and anything in between their sizes they're not going to hold very well. Uh, in this set you get a quarter inch and then a three sixteenths and a one eighth inch collet. So this part is 3079. It's a 3 8 inch end mill holder. Uh, the end mill holder is going to allow you to clamp end mills and other items that are 3 8 inches in diameter um, inside the, uh, the, the spindle again um, with a little better accuracy than a drill chuck, for example, and definitely better repeatability than a drill chuck. Um, the reason that they've got a 3 8 inch spindle adapter rather than a 3 8 inch collet is the, the bore in the head of the mill is not large enough to, to accept a 3 8 inch collet. So this is kind of the compromise. It's threaded on the inside to thread onto the spindle. And then there's a set screw in order to um, lock your tool into place in the unit. These do come in other sizes as well. I am not sure if 3 8 is the largest, but I do know that they come in some smaller sizes. And it comes with another uh, little bar to, to help tighten and loosen it from the chuck. This is part number 3551. Um, it's a small milling vise. Uh, this is really, really useful, again, for, for work holding, whether you're working on a small round bar or a larger rectangular piece. Um, this allows you to surface all faces quite easily and take things on and off the mill quite easily. It simply is bolted onto the mill table and it includes all the hardware you need uh, to bolt it down. So the next item that you get in here is uh, 5327. It's a Sureline Accessories uh, shop guide. So it's got, as it states here on the front, I haven't read through or looked at the book yet, but a collection of instructions and shop wisdom related to machining in general and Sureline tools and accessories in particular. So 
it's a decently little thick book um, black and white photographs on the inside showing a lot of the tools and how they're used looks like uh, about 221 pages in length so this is part number 7400 it's a six piece 3 8 inch shank a double ended two flute end mills different sizes comes with a nice little wood block if you want to take them out of their cases that they come in by default and store them in the block in different diameters if you need to to cut a groove or, or do other machining um, operations whether it's being a step in the side of a piece or, or facing off the end of a piece uh, this is one of the main tools that you're going to use in your milling so these are all the tools that you'll get with the the A package um, if you get the ultimate machine shop package you get all of these items plus these two which are a boring head and boring bar so we'll open them up and take a look at them so this last item we're going to look at is uh, two different part numbers 3054 is the boring head itself and then 3063 is this one inch boring tool you can get other sizes of boring tools um, and the, the head is adjustable to bore different size holes this can actually be used on both the lathe um, and the mill although you probably see the head much much more frequently on on the mill rather than the lathe and the biggest use for this is going to be when you want a, a hole that's either larger than what your drill bits can accommodate or a hole that's going to be more accurate um, with a drill bit you you end up getting a slightly out of round hole um, it's not visible to the naked eye but measuring it uh, you can definitely determine that that those holes are not as round as a perfect circle so this gets you much closer to a perfect circle um, you could start by by drilling a hole and then you can enlarge it with this to, to get it more precise um, and from there uh, there are some other tools out there that allow you to, to, to remount the hole and to, to get it as perfect as you can possibly get uh, within reason on um, these types of tools. This part is not included in the A package, but it does come with the uh, Ultimate Machine Shop package.